So I wanted to first and foremost apologize for those of you that were not on last week's team Zoom. Um, we did do a live power hour too, but apparently I had my jawbone playing music while we were working and YouTube did not like the song that I had playing in the background. So I got a copyright, big fat X across my YouTube channel. And I was like, what happened? Like, I, it was like very faint. I mean, like a couple of you guys were on last time. I mean, it wasn't anything big, but I was like, and it says two more strikes in your hand. And I'm like, oh, YouTube's like legit. Oh, no. Yeah, it's, it was ridiculous, but I could have fought but it. But don't you always have music playing? Yeah, I don't always upload them to YouTube. Um, oh, but okay. because of copyright, like I know I've, I, my very first um, YouTube channel, I did a Bruno Mars. Um, song in the background mm -hmm. and okay. I I had like his agent or someone like email me say or email YouTube and they forwarded me the email and they were like irate and I was like okay yeah. come on if a guy makes millions and billions of dollars like he's yeah. really gonna be that upset over a girl like me just playing it in the back whatever in the whatever. back yeah that's crazy when I get big, I'm going to go knocking on their doors and be like, do you remember me? Do you remember what you did? I'm just kidding. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and start. I'm going to mute everybody just in case you guys have background noise, but please feel free to unmute yourselves. So I hope you all came to work because that's what we're going to do tonight is we're going to do some work. But here's the thing. Um, we all know how to run a power hour, right? We ran one last week. We've ran, I've ran them before. We do, we should be doing them on a daily, but there was something that it, it hit me today. There was a few coaches that I've talked to over the last week and especially today that, uh, there, there's, there's a reason that we, we as a team are not moving forward as ourselves, as a team. Um, and it's the, the, the process or we're not doing the process. We're holding ourselves back when it comes to the inviting, right? I hear so many amazing coaches with so much potential, so much value say that they're afraid to invite because the fear of rejection, the fear of feeling like a salesman, right? Or they have that, you know, multi-level marketing has that nasty taste in everybody's mouth, right? We all know what it was like before we signed up with Beachbody. We're like, oh, multi-level marketing. I don't want a part of that. Oh, that rap stuff. Oh, that five stuff. Oh, Mary Kay, Avon, whatever. Like you, you have like this bad taste in your mouth, right? And so here we are, Beachbody coaches who have these big hearts. We know what Beachbody does for us. We know what it does for other people, but yet there's some fear that we still hold on to when it comes to inviting others because we get compensated for it, right? Like if we were just on our health and fitness journey, we would be able to talk about it to everybody and anybody, right? You fall in love with something, it works for you, whatever it is, you cannot help but talk about it. But then all of a sudden, you start getting paid for it, right? You start getting commission or you start getting team cycle bonuses and you're like, they're gonna think the only reason I'm inviting them or I'm talking to them is because I want something in return, right? And so we get in our heads and we hold ourselves back or we wait for the perfect opportunity to bring up an invite. How many of you guys have went into a conversation, right? Because you wanted to build this relationship, right? You meet this new friend. They're amazing. They're great. They're funny. Whatever they have that made them want to be your friend, right? And then you're like, okay, I'm going to wait for the perfect opportunity to invite them to a challenge group or to the coaching opportunity. And you wait and you wait and you wait. How many of you have done that? You know what? I'm going to tell you right now. There is never a perfect opportunity to invite. And if there is, it's right freaking now. Not, not, there's not going to be Moses coming in your conversation and opening, like parting the seas and being like, oh, now's the time to invite. This is the perfect time. No, that doesn't happen. The time to invite is right freaking now. So I had. I hope she doesn't mind. I invited her to this Zoom, but she's going to a concert tonight or a video or a video, a movie. I don't know what I'm talking about. But Jenny McCurm messaged me. She's a diamond coach under Andrea Crowder's downline. And she was like, okay, I need to know what, what your thoughts are on this. 
if, if you are wanting to invite people, do you wait, you build this relationship, you wait for the perfect opportunity to invite them, and then you invite them? Or do you invite them before getting to know them? And I told her, it honestly depends on the person, right? Because some people you want to get to know, like me, I'm done building for rank. I'm done built, building for volume. I'm building because I want a true and loyal and, and a, an amazing team. I want quality over quantity. Does that make sense? And I hope my coaches do the same. So there's some people where I'm never going to, never going to talk to them about the coaching opportunity because I'm picky and I'm allowed to be picky. This is my business, my team. These are all my babies. Yes, you guys are all my babes. And I'm not letting like an inferior or some, someone that I don't want a part of this be a part of this. So I won't bring it up. But the thing that I was telling Jenny was sometimes I don't wait. And I'm going to share a conversation that I had. Some of you, Emeralds and above, um, are in my Unstoppable Leaders group. And I posted a screenshot of a conversation that I had with the gal. Okay? You all know I tell you to send your, your new likes on your Facebook page a thank you. Right? Hey, thank you for liking my health and fitness page. I really appreciate the support. Are you on your own health and fitness journey too? Right? So I sent this girl the message. This day, I sent her the message, and I said, I said what I just told you. She responded back, yeah, I just started following you today. You're so motivating. You're so inspiring. And I was like, thank you so much. Sent her a friend request. Then I Facebook creeped her, you know, noticed that she was on her own health and fitness journey. Everything she was posting was super positive. She, like, did, did these selfies. She's fun. You know, like, she has colored hair. Like, she was just so attractive to me. Like, not like, hey, baby, but like, you know, like I was drawn, I was drawn to her, right? So I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to bring it up. For those of you that are not in my leaders group, which I hope you sure will be soon. Okay, so this is what I said. I have to ask you something. Oh, no, you know what? I'm actually going to screen share this so y'all can see. Because I'm very visual. Okay, so you guys can see this, right? Say, so I said, I have to ask you something. And don't go friend her now and be like, oh, she wants to be a beach body coach. Um, she said, sure, what's up? I said, have you ever thought about becoming a beach body coach? I asked because you're so positive and friendly and you love living a healthy lifestyle. She goes, um, thanks. Uh, never thought about it. Sounds interesting. I said, of course. Well, I love what I do so, so much helping others and especially getting to meet amazing people just like you. She said, sounds like something I would love to do as well. And I said, I think you would like it as much as me. I could send you a video. Let me go to the next one. Um, I could send you a video <clears throat> that explains what coaching is in detail if you have time to check it out. She said, of course, I'd love that. And I said, you got it, babe. So what I did, <clears throat> excuse me, I sent her the video and she came back. Someone's knocking on my door. She came back to me saying, oh my gosh. So I sent her the what is coaching vi video with me and Cindy Atkinson. It's the one I've got the best results from. I sent it back to her and she's like, oh my gosh, this sounds so amazing. So basically what you do is you help people reach their journey while you reach yours. I said, yeah, she's already on her own journey. She's working out at the gym. And so I started talking to her that very day, that very day I was her friend. That very day I invited her to the coaching opportunity. I did not get to know her. I got to know like her outside, what she posts and stuff, but I sent her that invite without hesitation because I knew she had something to offer. She, I knew she would be a good fit for the team. And I didn't overthink. I didn't get in my head. I didn't hesitate. I just went ahead and did it. And guess what? She's signing up by the end of the month. Because I did not hold back. I did not wait for the perfect opportunity. Because if you guys wait for the perfect opportunity, it will never come. Right? <clears throat> Just imagine like you're a 16 year old boy and you're going to high school and there's this, there's this girl that you really want to ask out and you're in drama class and you're like, man, I really want to ask her out, but I need to wait for the perfect opportunity. And guess what? If you're that 16 year old boy, chances are that opportunity is never going to come and you're going to be waiting and then you're going to be regretting not taking a chance. Right? Same thing with inviting. I'm sorry, I just compared all of us to a 16-year-old high school boy. That's really, really bad. But you guys get my drift, right? <clears throat> so I want to focus on inviting tonight. 
And the reason I wanted to do this, poor Candy, thank you so much for showing up, even though you're, you feel like death. Um, <clears throat> but the reason why I wanted to do this tonight and be our main focus in our power hour, because I think there is power in numbers. Not like we're all going to be inviting the same person at the same time, but I think we, we, we're going to have that energy. We're going to have the companionship, the support, the encouragement from each other that we can do it together. And it's, it's easier to do things as a group than it is by yourself right? Especially if it's something you're scared of doing. How many of you guys have heard of Eat That Frog? So if you haven't heard of Eat That Frog, it's the thing that you, that you, that you hate to do the most, right? In your business, right? Most of the time, for, forgive me if I'm wrong, but it's inviting. Whose frog is inviting? The thing you do the least or you hate doing, okay? This is the thing that you should be doing the most. Do you guys realize if you don't put the coaching opportunity in front of people, they will never get a chance. They will never get a chance to experience this. They will never get a chance to maybe get out of debt or to get support from amazing females that they never thought that they could imagine. They can never have a chance to be a stay at home mom and be financially stable. They can never have a chance to live a dream that they've only dreamed of. By you inviting them, you are giving them that chance, right? Like it's the same thing. Like, so <clears throat> forgive me for all of you guys who are not my brand spanking new coaches, but I have always given my coaches are getting started right calls. I say, okay, what's your goal in 30 days? I let you guys tell me what your goals are, right? Because I don't want to force goals on you, right? Because I feel I'm not a pusher. You guys know I'm not a tough lover. I'm horrible at that shit. I could try, but I'm, I'm horrible at it. So I can't force you guys to do something that you don't want to. I don't want to do it. But then I was talking to Ashley and Keanu, who you guys know is my Ireland um, success partner. Um, she was telling me that right out the gates, she tells her coaches, her brand new coaches, that success at club 10 is non-negotiable in the very first month. And getting Emerald is non-negotiable for her first 30 days. And I was like, oh my gosh, I could never make my coaches do that. She goes, what do you mean you could never make your coaches do that? I said, well, I could never give them a non-negotiable, like if it's not in their cards. And she goes, she goes, don't you think that you're, you're not giving them the option to do it though? And I was like, oh my God, I'm withholding something back. If I don't tell you as a brand new coach, you can make Success Club 10. You can go and help five people and that will not only help you get your Shakeology paid for, but you can make a double profit, right? And you can continue and continue and continue and then you get Emerald and you get all this stuff with Emerald. So here I am. It's the same thing with you guys with inviting. Here I am not giving my brand new coaches the option of being a success starter or a success club all-star or success club 10 legend or you know whatever i am humble enough to admit that i failed in that area and i'm changing things so if any of you guys want to do a redo of a getting started right call i don't care how long you've been a coach we could redo it um but with that said i learned that i was limited 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 limit oh my gosh you guys know what i mean i was not giving them you guys a chance at something because of my fear. Does that sound familiar? You are not giving people the chance at coaching because of your fear. It's really hard not to overthink things, right? We overthink the perfect post. We overthink the perfect invite, the perfect time to post, the perfect time to send a message, the perfect time to do this, the perfect this, the perfect that. Life is not perfect. This business is not perfect. We all know that. We don't want to post that we're perfect. Nobody wants to be perfect. Being perfect is fucking hard work. Part of my French. Oh my gosh, there's a baby. Tanya, earmuffs on the baby. <laughs> oh, she's got, yes, good, good, good. <laughs> earmuffs on mom. Um, we don't do perfect, guys. We mess up. We make mistakes. Be humble enough to admit when you, when you mess up and move forward. If you don't give someone the opportunity to change their life, 
their life may never change. Remember that, okay? So with that said, my little 15 minute blurb, we are gonna start working, okay? We are gonna spend the first 10 minutes writing down names of people we have connected with, maybe not even have built a relationship with. Maybe you already have these people on your list, but I want you guys to write down names, as many as you can, it's not a race, it's not a competition, but of names, they have to have something that makes you want them a part of your team. Maybe they are, you know, they're honest, they're loyal, they're fun, they're exciting, they, they like working out, they are a mom, they uh, complain about their dead-end job, they complain about their boss who's rude, they, you know, whatever, whatever it is. So we're going to spend the next 10 minutes writing down names of people. And while you're writing these names down, I want you to write next to their name the reason why you would think that they should be a coach. Okay? And at any time, feel free to unmute yourself if you um, have a question or anything.
Oh, geez. All right. Timer's done. Okay. Show me your list. Oh, God. I like how Nikki moves her <laughs> screen to her list. <laughs> Everyone else is like this, and she's like, nope. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Good job, guys. So, okay, you can stop ticking now. Stop ticking. Okay. So here's one thing that I forgot to mention, but I didn't want to stop you guys when you were creating your list. So one thing that I've been working with Josh Coates about, some of you guys may have worked with him or have seen him or heard of him or whatever. Um, he's from the John Maxwell team. He's kind of like my, uh, my coach guru kind of guy. Um, anyways, so we were talking about intentional friend requests, intentional um, relationship building, right? So when before, you kind of not, not add anybody and everybody, but you're intentional on who you want to invite, right? Like these are not invite per se, but invite into your life. So, oh, good job, Jill. Thanks for sending it to me. <laughs> she has horrible reception right now. Um, so with that being said, you obviously don't want to seek out people that are anti-you, right? You don't want to friend request people that don't vibe with you just because you want to make success club or just because you want to hit diamond or whatever. Um, so when you're adding to your network and I'm going to use Instagram as an example, because that's the easiest way and the most genuine way you can build your relate, build your network is on Instagram. When you see someone that's not your vibe, that's not a part of your tribe. Don't, don't connect with them. Intentionally connect with the people that you're drawn to. Does that make sense? Like if you are a Trump lover, you're obviously not going to go looking for a bunch of Hillary's, right? And vice versa. I really hate the fact that I just uh, brought politics into this, but you guys get what I'm saying. You guys, you guys know what I'm saying. Anyways, and we're done with that topic. Um, but intentionally, with your best intentions, go out and look for people intentionally that you want to be friends with. Act like you're at a playground and you're scoping out your new BFF when you're on social media. You're not going to go to the person that's bossing everyone around saying, that's my slide. That's my toy. Give it to me, right? You're probably going to go to the kid that's like playing with everybody that, you know, is inviting everyone to go on the merry-go-round with him and, you know, pushing the other kids on the swing, you know, cracking jokes, being fun, right? I mean, to comparing the two. Um, so go look for that kid on social media. Go look for that. I'm here. I am bringing up another boy when we're all girls. Anyways, go look for that little girl on the playground that you want to be friends with. We all know what it's like being a kid. You'd go to a playground and five minutes later, you'd walk away with 10 new best friends, right? As an adult, that's freaking hard. You can't go to the grocery store and walk out of there with a new best friend, but you can on social media because it's easy. Cause you guys, if you utilize Instagram, like I, I preach to the choir about, I promise you, you will. And here's the thing. Guess what? I'm not, I'm not saying this to put myself on a pedestal. You guys all know me better than that, but I'm not saying this to toot my own horn, but I'm saying this so you guys could understand. I am a five star diamond beach body coach. Five star diamond. I have over 130 personally sponsored coaches. I did not get to where I'm at today by not doing the things that I tell you guys to do. And I'm not telling you guys to do, I'm saying what works for me. And if this stuff works for me, why not do it? You don't know how many times I've asked someone, they're like, oh, I can't. I can't invite and I'm all the people I invite and messing up and da, 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 da. But I take them, we go through the invite process and they leave out like half the stuff that are in all the scripts, either in my team page, in the misfit Republic site, wherever there's all these tips and tools you guys can use and utilize and create it and make it your own. But for whatever reason, we're like, Oh no, if I use that, I'm, I'm going to be seen like, a salesman. Oh, if I use that, they're going to see right through me. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Right. But if you use your heart and you do what works for others, 
it will work for you too. I promise you this. I'm telling you guys, there's not some secrets that I'm withholding from you that I just tell you other stuff so you can stay busy. I tell you what works. I tell you what works for me. I tell you what works for me to get me to Success Club 10 every single month for the past 36 months. No, okay. I have it 38 months. I missed it in April. I hit Success Club 7. But ever since I was a coach, I have not missed Success Club 5 at all. I signed up in June, January of 2012. I do not do what I don't tell you guys. Does that make sense? Everything I do, I tell you guys. And I promise you, if it could work for someone like me, it can work for anybody. So the tips that I use, the tips that I tell you, please don't let them just go in one ear and out the other. I really, really want you guys to utilize them. And utilize everything that you have at your fingertips, okay? People don't spend time putting stuff together just so it could just look pretty. I mean, granted, I do sometimes, but you know, that's like posts or whatever. Okay, so with that said, I, one, two, three, four, five, six, myself, I wrote six names down in 10 minutes, okay? I wrote why I think that they should be a good, they would be a good fit. So what do you guys think is gonna come next? That's right, y'all looking at me like you're scared. We are going to send them an invite. We are not going to wait for the perfect opportunity. We're not gonna wait for them to ask us what a beach body coach is. We're not gonna wait for them to come to us. We're gonna hold our heads up high. We're gonna believe in ourselves. We all know what we have to offer. We all know what beach body has to offer. Why would we hold that back from somebody? Look at all these amazing ladies or gentlemen that we have on our list, right? And guess what? All you're doing is giving them the opportunity. It's up to them to take it or leave it. And if you put the ball in their court, they may not take that opportunity right now, but they will remember who asked them and why they asked, and maybe they'll think about it. Oh my gosh, maybe I am really positive. Maybe I am motivating. And then they'll keep connecting with you when you keep checking in with them. And then one day they're going to be like, you know what? I'm ready. You believed in me from the beginning and I didn't believe in myself, but I'm ready now. But it's up to you to give them that opportunity. I know it's scary, but I want you guys, if you guys were on that Zoom, this Zoom right here, I believe in myself. If not, say it right now. I believe in myself. You have so much to offer. You are fucking amazing. Pardon my French or my bad English. You are amazing. Uh-oh, who just came in the room, Jen? Uh-oh, I, I got a trouble. Is it Mike? I'm getting a trouble. Um, Uh-oh, kid. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, say you believe in yourself. You have so much value. You have so much worth. You have so much to offer somebody. You know this team is amazing. You know Beachbody is amazing. You know pro the programs, the Shakeology, everything is amazing. Maybe someone wants to actually per pursue this as a career, a way to get away from their job, a way to stay home with their kids, or maybe they just simply want their Shakeology paid for, or maybe they just want a discount on Shakeology. You never know unless you ask. So right now, we are gonna spend 15 minutes sending out, hey, I have a question to ask you, or can I ask you a question? Have you ever considered becoming a beach body coach? Because I had to ask because and give them the reasons that you wrote next to their name. I had to ask because you're already sharing your health and fitness journey and you're so positive. I had to ask you. I had to ask because I see you playing with your kids all day. You look like you're having such a great time and you've been complaining about having to go back to work. I had to ask because you get that opportunity. Okay? Don't be scared. Chin up. We're going to do it. Right? Right now. Yeah, shake it off, Jen. Shake it off. Shake it off. Now Taylor Swift is going to ban me on YouTube just for saying that.
Jen, are you kidding me? <laughs> Jen just asked if I ever considered becoming a beach body coach. I do not count as one. <laughs> no, I have not. It's a scam. I'm practicing. I'm practicing. <laughs> It took you that long to ask me. Yay, my Brit! And don't puke. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki press send and I feel lightheaded now. So scary. It's honestly not scary, I promise. I mean it is. Let's let's be real. It never gets not scary. It's still scary for me. But the more you do it, the better you'll feel. The more confident you'll feel. Even if you get no's. Just like anything. Remember when you all picked up weights for the first time or did turbo fire for the first time and you're like, this shit is tough. I want to puke right? We all know what it's like, but the more you did it, 
the easier it got or the stronger you became, and so you kept going. Okay, timer's up. Okay, sorry. I was finishing up a response that someone re responded with. So, okay, did anyone get a response back yet? Ooh, yeah, good, good, yay, good, good, good. Okay, so yes, it was scary, right? Yes, you may have puked in your mouth. Yes, you may have got the cold sweats. Yes, whatever. But the thing is, guess what? You guys just opened a huge door for all of those people. No matter what happens, you opened a door. They know that they have something about them that makes you interested in them joining your team. It's not just a team. It's not just like to me, a team, like before Beachbody, a team was like, like your softball team, your little league team, like your team, like everyone protects each other. Right. And then I got into Beachbody and it was the same exact way. A team is everyone that it's like this companionship, this, this group of people that, connect on a really deep level with each other, right? To me, not knocking anybody, but I don't see that happening with AdvoCare. I don't see that happening with Thrive. I don't see that happening with It Works. You know why? Because I've talked to those people and they do not have the support that we have. 
it is ridiculous the stuff I hear from other people that are like, oh my God, what are these things that you guys keep posting every Tuesday? What, are, what is all this stuff? And I'm like, oh, that's me and my team chat. So everyone just shows up and you guys talk. And I'm like, yeah, we do trainings and stuff. Is that all you do for them? No, that's not all I do for them. I've had people get shunned away from Advocare. They, they sign up and then they don't help them. I've had people who beg about Herbalife, 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 that one shake, who beg their, their sponsor or whatever to help them because they don't want to come off as a salesman and they just basically throw them to a pack of wolves. So maybe people see Beachbody like that. Maybe they've been a part of Beachbody before and they just got a bad nest. But we all know what this is about, right? We all know our team. We all know our support, our community. And so when we share that with other people, they get to feel it. In the sneak peeks, they get to feel it. In the group chats, in, in one-on-ones, they get to feel it. But they don't ever get to be a part of that if you don't give them that option. So now you guys say thank you to yourselves because you just gave them an opportunity to change their life. No matter what they say to you tonight or tomorrow or next week, you gave them that option. As long as they stay on your list and you keep connected with them and you keep building that relationship, no matter what they say, when they decide that Beachbody is the way that they want to go, they will remember who believed in them enough to ask them and who stuck around. Maybe they won't sign up as a coach. Maybe they'll just want to do a challenge first. Maybe they'll refer five people to you, but you gave them that option. So was it hard? No, kind of, maybe a little bit. See, the thing of it is when I get scared of doing something like an invite and here's, here's another tip that I get for you guys. So on my list, on my list, it was no particular order, but you know what I did with my inviting? I did the most intimidating one first. This girl, she's a bodybuilder. She is a badass mama on Instagram. I met her on Instagram. She just posted a video of her doing um, Dance Dance Revolution with her two little kids. It was the cutest thing ever. Um, but you've seen like her bulging biceps all bouncing around. Anyways, so I, I sent her that one first because that was the hardest one. So I did the hardest one first. I did my frog first. And then I did the easiest one last. Okay. So just like in your power hour, do the hardest thing first, which for a lot of you, you raised your hands and you said it was inviting. So do that first. Stop hesitating. Stop holding yourself back because when you're holding yourself back, you're holding others back too. Stop limiting yourself. Oh, I did it. I said it right that time. And stop limiting others. Okay. And I got you. I got your back. We got each other's back. Don't think you're in this by yourself. Don't be afraid. This is one thing that I've heard one of my coaches say. I'm afraid to grow a team because of what it takes to be a leader. I'm afraid to run my own training groups. I'm afraid to guide them. I misguide them, guide them in the wrong direction. Here's the thing. Y'all know I do team-wide training groups. Y'all know I do team-wide Zooms. I'm not, once you sign up a coach, I'm not, okay, Teresa, you're on your own, girlfriend. Peace. No, you know that. Don't be afraid. We are in this together. We are in the trenches together. I'm not leaving your side, no matter if you're an emerald, a ruby, a diamond, a 15 triple star diamond coach. Hopefully by then you're letting me tag along. But I'm not leaving your side. No one's throwing in the towel on you. No one's throwing you to the wolves. We're in this together, so don't be afraid. And guess what? If you mislead somebody, be humble about it and say, oh my gosh, we did this wrong. Just like I did to you guys about my getting started right call, which I'm probably going to have five or 10 messages. Hey, can we do a getting started, <laughs> started right call? Um, and that's okay, right? We all make mistakes. We're human. So with that said, I love you all. I hope it helped. I'm going to stop the recording so we can do a selfie. Um, Hey, get excited about our selfie here. <laughs>